For me, it's, I think it's been about a 15 year journey. I obviously, like a lot of people, did pre-med um, when I was a student at the Naval Academy, and then I commissioned into the Marines for six years, so I put off med school during that time. And then I did four years in medical school, and my husband still is in the military, so I took this last year off. So when I added it up, it's been 15 years since I started sort of thinking about being a doctor. So my husband just got home about two weeks ago from another deployment to the Persian Gulf. So I had to do all these interviews with my three-year-old boy in tow. Um, I have stayed at grandma's. They've picked me up at midnight at airports. I've been bailed out of Vegas when he had an ear infection by uncle. <laughs> I was pregnant too going through all this. So um, my family was really helpful just making this all happen. Today is exhilaration for most of them. Today is the day when they get their match. They get their envelope and they then see uh, where they're going for the next three to seven years. 40% of students matched in primary care specialties, 63% are training in California, and 26% are staying in San Diego. We were very careful about where we applied to initially and where I interviewed, so um, hopefully we may be able to stay here in San Diego. Uh, my husband's still stationed here, so that would be ideal. I'm incredibly proud. So she, she's carried the lion's work of this, you know, like I said, had, having a baby, having a, uh, uh, husband's deployed a couple times and and then really rock in medical school so she did very well I I can't express how proud I am and she knows that oh, I, no. <laughs> all right don't cry all right all right you see it all right there it is it's a lot of relief <laughs> oh.